having a low sporty car is fun and all but it's far from being a stress free experience your heart is going to stop every time you encounter bad roads you're going to be afraid of bending a rim every time and of course there's always the ultimate terror of making your car a seesaw over a speed bump so if that is your life what you need as a daily is something that is tall comfortable spacious and of course reliable so that if the world is imploding on itself you have your car to depend on much like this a ford endeavor nice idea na want to pick one up in the second hand market well this is the video for you Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani. This is a top of the line Ford Endeavor and I'm here to tell you what all you need to search for in the second hand market while picking one of these up and is it even a good enough second hand buy? Open the hood, which is a really large hood. and you're going to get to see something that's rather rare in our country it's a five cylinder engine this is a 3198 cc five cylinder dura torque tdci engine it pushes out 197 bhp and 470 newton meters of torque and it is known and has received quite a lot of praise for being very robust as a block yes it does behave a little bit like a tractor and it does feel and sound like it but if dependability is a factor that you want from your engine sometimes when you're going out off road and all this dura torque engine is an absolute monster for all of that and all of that 470 newton meters of torque is promised to be delivered very early in the rev range which makes it a nice strong block now jumping into the endeavor It is a rather nice and big place to be, quite roomy, and the seats are also quite nice. They've got quite a lot of cushioning, and the leather feels quite soft. You've got hard touch plastics most places, but it is really nice to the touch, and they do not feel cheap at all. Now, this being a three, four year old car, you've also got Android uh, Auto and Apple CarPlay that is wired. You've got four terrain modes. You got park assist and a rear view camera. In terms of trim, you get this really nice piano finish black trim on the inside, along with some leather bits like the top of the dashboard, the armrest, and the door card, which is really nice and premium. And it is still a thirty lakh rupee car, but it feels much nicer than that, and that's a good thing because it's super roomy. You've got a panoramic sunroof, and it does feel much more premium than a Ford. So it is definitely a nice place to be in. When it comes to design, the Ford Endeavor is a car that you just cannot miss when it's on the road. The car is exceptionally long at 5 meters and you also sit very high to the road with a whopping 225 mm of ground clearance. And since you sit so high, you get a footboard in order to enter the car with ease. The car also gets 18-inch alloy wheels with independent coil springs in the front, which give immense confidence just to go through any type of road that you may be driving on. Ford Endeavor obviously is a rather large car. Its its length is almost five meters long, and you've got a massive bonnet in front of you that you don't see the end, and the boot is very far away from this rear view mirror too. So it can be a little intimidating for someone who's not used to driving something uh, that is this massive. But if you're used to driving something rather large or with a long bonnet, this is a piece of cake. In fact, it's even easier since you're taller. or uh, from the ground and the suspension also is rather plush so you just are not worried about anything there's a speed bump in front hmm what about it if there is even a goat a barricade if you need to you can go through anything and it could get as extreme as you want it to get this thing will take anything on There is one small thing with the suspension that kind of bothers me a driving enthusiast even in slow traffic the suspension setup is very soft so you will see yourself uh, pitching and yawing uh, 
from the front because the car is in a very plush settings so that you can waft along bumps and uh, yes it is super comfortable but sometimes it can get rather annoying if you are expecting a little bit of uh, performance to come out of the car so what happens is that you're going to be feeling the bump that you're going to be taking quite aggressively much later on after the bump has already been traversed through so you will be feeling the little rocky motion after speed bumps and other stuff yes you can go for stiffer suspension and best believe the ride is not going to be compromised since the off road suspension is going to be slightly even taller maybe so you will not be losing out on ground clearance you will not be losing out on uh, outright performance but you will be making it a little stiffer without having to break your back because this is quite soft so i would suggest someone going for a stiffer set of suspension in the car now another thing that i would complain about is the sponginess of the brakes yes you're not meant to be going at a ridiculous amount of speed with this car because it's not designed for it but you would be surprised at how easily this car can cruise at triple digit speeds so i would suggest to go for maybe a better set of brake pads or just get a suspension overhaul and get a big brake kit or whatever you need depending on your necessities however yes this car does miss feedback from the brake pedal in the city you're not going to be having that much of trouble with the feedback from the brake but if you're going to be pushing the car quite a bit you would like to have a little bit of response from that brake brake pedal so yes the dimensions could be intimidating to someone who is not experienced or is uh, not that comfortable with the height that you're sitting at but usually sitting up taller gives you more visibility and it makes it even easier to drive that larger car you cannot skip over the fact that this car is much more capable of doing so many more things compared to your everyday saloon if you're stuck in snow this thing has got a snow mode for you to take it out it's got um sand mode for you to be able to traverse through any dunes that you need to go through and i mean this car is built for something that 99% of the clientele of this car is not going to be using it for at all so if shit goes south ever mind my language this car will be the perfect car to get you out of trouble if there's an earthquake coming in or if there's a tsunami or if there has been an armageddon in your city and the entire uh, all of the roads are packed with barricades or with basically obstructions this is the kind of car that you need in your house that would be like eh you need me to get you out of a sticky situation well this one will pretty much go through anything talking about the transmission it is a pretty straightforward 6 speed automatic transmission that is slightly sluggish in between gears but considering that this car is going to be driven mostly by people who are going to be city dwellers and not going to be actually using the most out of the car the gearbox does a very good job at being smooth so you don't usually feel the shifts in between traffic or while driving it like a human being in traffic on the roads so this specific gearbox is a 6 speed one but the 2 liter four cylinder engine used to get a 9 speed gearbox which was butter smooth i prefer that gearbox over this one and yes you might get a better package for a sedan in the price range of 30 to 35 lakhs but the stress free experience that comes with having a car that is massive and just capable of going anywhere is something that i don't think you can put a price on and that's why suvs in india are just so common and why not just search for the best suv that arguably has ever come to our country the ford endeavor the endeavor is generally a very reliable vehicle ford is known to make very tough suvs and this one is no different 
That said, do check for suspension wear and a proper service record. Also, if the tires need a replacement, keep in mind a set of four could cost over sixty thousand rupees. If the owner has been taking his endeavor off-road regularly, there will be chances of underbelly damage as well as abuse to the suspension. Hence, during the test drive, keep an eye out on any suspension noise or unwanted horizontal vertical movements. Likewise, check for clutch slippage on the manual models. A proper service history will add to the peace of mind and also will reveal many major parts that need replacement. So, what do you think? Would you be less worried about? bashing a tiny little car in the city or would you like to be the bully like me and have something massive that you just don't need to worry about what is around you something like this so do let us know down in the comments below if you're going to choose an endeavor or any other type of suv because this market has quite a lot of options nowadays that's all from my side thank you so much for watching my name is bhavneet vaswani you're watching the drivers hub and i'll see you guys in the next one peace